Okay, now we're looking at the first boot of a server 2016 with the GUI install. If you remember, with 2016 there are only two options, and the default is Core, which we showed in a prior video, and the other option is the GUI interface. So that's what this is right now. This should boot to the initial GUI interface on a 2016 new install. And on the core install it just boots to a command prompt that forces you to change the administrator password and then it presents you with a command window that gives you a command window PowerShell and sconfig. think we'll pause for a second here. Okay, we're back. It says it's getting devices ready. This is probably not the fastest. This is running on uh, VMware Lab that doesn't have quite the same power that most enterprises would experience. Guess maybe I'll pause again. Okay, so it just said it's restarting again. So I ran the install from an ISO. It said it had to reboot. So I unattached the ISO, it booted, and now it rebooted a second time. I don't know if that second reboot is normal or if that's an aberration. I'll probably test that and see if it's consistent. Okay, so it completed its boot and it's asking for our administrator password again, which is typical. So it's booted and now we're looking at the login screen on server 2016. We'll go ahead and log in and take a quick look at what the initial interface looks like. I suppose that's supposed to be a person up there but it looks like an 8 with the bottom cut off.
2016 technical preview 4. Doesn't look much different so far. I suppose that is the Edge browser. Server manager looks essentially the same. Ah, you can open a browser with the administrator account. looks a lot like Windows 10. That's a left click and here's a right click on the start menu. Anyhow, that's a quick look at Server 2016 Technical Preview 4. As I get this on a domain and set up, I'll probably post some more videos. Thanks for watching and make sure to follow our YouTube channel.